Hey, Vinny Bash, 25th of August, 2019. And I gotta share this with you guys. I, I did a video a couple of days ago. Uh, I put it up on the other channel. I don't know why, but I just did. I don't know, some of you may not know I have another channel, but I do. And this is it. And this is the video I put up. Ariana Grande, 522 Manchester Ritual so on and so forth and it was just pointing out that she was returning to the same scene that she was at on 52217 when a 22 year old terror bomber killed 22 people at 2200 hours and it happened to be 823 days to 823 from 52217 and 522 in the Hebrew calendar, it was the exact same day as 823, just a couple days ago. I hope you understand that. You can go watch the other video. But one of the things that caught my eye was that they mentioned it was a UK bank holiday weekend. And I thought that that was really weird that they would mention that. August bank holiday weekend, right? We have the G7 going on. And I was looking for something to happen on the 23rd, like a lot of people were, and something did. The Dow Jones dropped 623 points. And the connections to this are just off the hook to me, okay? So I'm led immediately to the concordance. And in the Hebrew, that word means a collector or a gatherer. It's the name of an Israelite, Asaph. And we can go look at all of these things because I think it's valuable to do so. You know what I mean? H623 is Asaph, the name of three Israelites, and of the family of the first. I'm not sure what that means, but it's interesting. 46 times he shows up, right? And he's from 622. Okay, August was the sixth month anyway. But to gather for any purpose... To receive or take away, remove or destroy, leave behind, <laughs> put up, restore, destroy. So it's like a two-edged sword, this, this word here, right? Good and bad in that one. And the first place that shows up is in 2 Kings 18.18, 18, where you'll also find Eliakim, right? Now I can show you all of these scriptures because you really want to go look at this stuff. I'm just telling you, it's it's important that you read these things for yourself. It is. And when they had called to the king, there came out to them Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, which is incredibly interesting because my random Bible verse this morning, Isaiah 9, 6, and 7, mentions the government on his shoulder and so forth. For unto us is a child born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of course, it's talking about Jesus, right? And this whole thing is also mocking Jesus. The other definition for 623 in the Greek is the Destroyer, Satan, Apollyon, Abaddon, Revelation 9.11, okay? Now, the Eliakim being the key is also found in Isaiah 22, 20 through 22. The 22 pattern is uncanny. It just is. But this is where we'll find Eliakim, right? And it shall come to pass in that day that I will call my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with thy robe and strengthen him with thy girdle and I will commit the government into his hand. And he'll, he shall be a father unto the inhabitants of Jerusalem in the house of Judah. And the key, Isaiah 22, 22, the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. He shall open, none shall shut. He shall shut, and none shall open. Where else do we see that? In Revelation 3, 7. Think about this. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write these things, saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, 
and shutteth, and no man openeth. It's the same exact scripture. And it just all ties together like this crazy, perfectly fit puzzle hit. The 22s are just off the charts, man. But this is pointing to some sort of financial situation to me. They have to reset the old financial system. They have to in order to bring in that new beast financial control system, which will require a mark at some point, which you do not take. Call on the name of Jesus, okay? So all this stuff going on, the G7, okay, the financial system, the UK bank holiday weekend, UK, the financial capital of the world, and then on 823, it drops 623. You understand? And then a couple days ago, Trump said, he was the chosen one to take on China. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. China Z even drudged the front page on Friday, ready to rumble. The Dow 623, which is a 911 as well. Just like we see in Revelation 911, the only appearance of G623. The 911. You see what I'm saying? It's pretty crazy stuff, you guys. Z, X, I, 11 in Roman numerals. Turn it around, I, X, a 9. You see what I mean? And just all the numbers pan out because, you know, on 823, it dropped 623. 200 exactly. Turn those around like they like to do. Backwards, 328, 326, exactly 2 between them. 22. The Dow fell on... 2-2-2018, 2, 666 points, leading up to 823, 567 days, 5 times 6 times 7 is 210, or 3 times 70. That triple 7 is all over this when you do the math. It's just crazy, guys. This is just God speaking through his perfect numbers. Again, you know, the 522 was 823. It was the same day on the Hebrew calendar, 522. We do the same thing, 522 and 623. 101 exactly between the two. 11. Think about it. You add the two together, it's 1145. A 911, 11. We turn them around, the same thing, 225, 326. Exactly 101 between them. That just doesn't happen, you know? Add them up, 551, 11. Altogether, it's a 22. It's just there. It's just all there. And I'm just putting it out there that this is being brought to us for some reason. And the financial system is what I'm keeping my eye on because it is a key, key factor to bring in this new world order. The money is everything. It's the control mechanism. You got to understand that is Satan's greatest tool is the wealth, money, and power, and what that gives the flesh to fulfill the lusts. So I pray you know, Jesus, if you don't call on his name, ask for the truth sincerely and humbly, and he'll show you. Be prepared, and don't take the mark, whatever you do. I hope this makes sense. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 